Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talking about avatars in Microsoft Teams. Microsoft has recently released avatars in public preview. And as you can tell from the screen that I'm actually logged in into a Microsoft Teams meeting and I'm actually using an avatar. So let's go and find out how we can actually create these avatars and what customizations we have and you know what are the suggestions. This is pretty cool. Don't miss out this video. Let's go and check it out. Okay, first things first. As I said, avatars is basically in Microsoft Teams public preview. So make sure you have public preview enabled for your users. And um, if you want to know how to set up, you know, um, those policies for public preview for your users, um, browse through this website, uh, which is basically talk about public preview and doc updates or search in Google for Microsoft Teams public preview. And you will know what you need to do um, through your Teams admin to enable public preview. If you already have public preview enabled for your users, then that's actually a good news. Then what your users need to do is basically open Microsoft Teams and make sure that they have, um, you know, selected public preview. So as you can see, it's it's basically in the corner says EA, which is early access, um, which you can pretty much enable by clicking on these three dots and going to about and then selecting public preview. So I'll just go there again and that's the option the users needs to select. Um, you know, once you are in public preview, then you will be able to basically use an avatar app. So I have already selected public preview and I can see um, this EA is kind of listed, um, you know, on top of my profile, which is early access. So I'm all good from that front. Now, what I need to do now is basically head on to apps and search for an app called avatars right um so i have already added this app but um if you are using it first time make sure you add this app so once you have added this app then it's basically a simple process i'll just click on open and um, it will then open up avatar builder which is basically you know number of options for you to basically um, you know, customize your avatar based on, you know, your profile or or basically whatever you like. Um, while it's actually loading, um, you can actually create up to three profiles. So here we go. Now, this is an avatar, right? You can create three different versions um, of these avatars. So for example, you know, this is already created. And if I click on the plus button, it'll basically ask me if I want to duplicate the first avatar, um, you know, or I just want to create um, an avatar from scratch. Now, duplicate is good because, um, you know, you might have customized the nose and the teeth and the lips and eyes and everything else. And, you know, you just want to change the clothes and maybe the appearance um, based on your meeting requirements. For example, you might create one profile which is looks professional with a suit and a tie. And the second one is more about casual and third is more about you know sporty look so it all depends on your requirements but anyway um, let's click on the customize option um, now under customize you can see that there are a number of different options right the first option is obviously about body um, it's about your body shape so you know you can select a different body shape um, as you can see this uh, appearance will you know um, start changing as I select different options so for, for example I select this one you know this is more of like a fat and if I select this one you know then the fat goes away so based on your body appearance you can actually select one of these options um, the next one is about prosthetic so you click on that you know um, I click on this one um, I think this is already selected and you know and the other one so you know number of options um, it actually gives you that's your left hand that's your right hand if you you know want to select both hands and you know um, there's a color picker as well if you want to select a different color picker I'll select this as a plum so they change to plum and I go back so um, then there is a skin tone um, you know um, if you are light gold kind of a skin then it changes that so you know this is all about body and then it 
comes down to the face um, under face you know it goes to a detailed level of customizations right it talks about your face shape uh, you can select a different shape based on your face uh, you can select eyes right um, depending upon what sort of eyes you have so there are a number of different options you know you can select an eyes and then obviously then you can um, select the color as well that's your basically eyeballs you know you might have some green eyes so if you if you want to select green eyes see that changes you go back and then it talks about eyelashes as well right um and then same for the eyelashes you can change the color of the eyelashes i'm gonna maybe select red right it just changes the the, the color to red if you can see that there was a bit of a movement um but you know what i'm trying to say is there are a number of different options right you can select the the nose type and then it comes down to the mouth um, and the ears if you have hearing aids and then it talks about your hairstyles right if you got a different hairstyle you might have long hairs for example um your facial hair and uh, you know you might have a beard as well so you can really customize your appearance, right? That the eyes, eyebrows, um, whether the thin or thick, and then it also talk about your appearance, um, you know, lip color, eyeliner, face, um, you know, uh, bindi. Um, this is, <clears throat> you know, if you if you use um, bindi, uh, for example, which is typically used in um, Indian culture. So. As you can see, there are a lot of different customizations that you can actually do um, using this feature. And then you can come down to your wardrobe, right? Change your clothes, change your appearance, like right? That's the, um, the inner wear exchange, the outer wear. Um, you know, you could be having this um, cargo jacket, for example, right? Um, I mean, look, based, based on all of these um, different options what you can do is you can basically customize your appearance um, you know whether you are into a professional meeting or into uh, more of a sporty kind of look or party look or you know a, or a casual look basically um, as I said you, you can create up to three different profiles um, to use in three different meetings um, okay so you know these are the different functions so let's say we have customized we're happy with this avatar although I'm not I don't have a beard and I don't look like this but Let's just go with this example for now and we save this and once we have done that, so be happy with that. Now we basically go back to our meeting. So uh, I'll open the calendar. I've got a meeting created and let's just start the meeting. Um, you know, once we start the meeting, uh, sorry, let's just join the meeting. Um, once we join the meeting and then make sure your camera is turned off because we want to use the avatar. So effects and avatars we select and then from there we are going to select the avatar which we created. So we want to select this avatar or you can actually create more from um, you know the avatar section from the meetings as well. Um, and you can also choose the background. So I want to choose the desert island uh, background um, for my meeting right. There you go. This is how I look like in a meeting. So let's just join the meeting, for example, and uh, we are in a meeting now. So I just connecting and once you are into the meeting, you can really use number of gestures, right? Let's just um, expand this. Um, so I'm into a meeting right now and, you know, there are a number of different gestures. For example, I want to raise a hand, um, you know, once I click on that, it raises a hand. You can do different reactions. Um, I can do a like um you know then it does a like and i can uh, let me put my hand down now and then click on these uh, reactions let's just love then it you know creates a different gesture you can see all these you know um <clears throat> icons are popping up as well but these are the normal standard gestures which were already there but we do have more actions for these avatars so let's say you are into a meeting and you want to react on something and you can click on the more actions, click on effects and avatars and under there, um, select the avatars section and um, then we have avatar reactions, right? Um, these are the few avatars which you can pin and if you click on show all, 
Um, these are all the different reactions. For example, you know, um, that's the cheers salute, right? There you go. Um, you want to upload on something, you can click on this, right? Um, chef's kiss. There you go, right? Um, so there are a number of different reactions that you can actually use with these avatars in meetings. Um, if you if you have any favorite um, actions or reactions that you use, you can simply click on these three little dots and click pin. And it will basically pin this under the uh, pinned avatar reactions. So, you know, you can cover them out. So, you know, number of different options you have for these avatars. Um, if you don't want to show your face into the meetings, um, you know, this is a great way to use these avatars and probably use, you know, some of these reactions um, there. Now, um, this is about the avatar reactions, but obviously you do have some other options under avatars. You can change the background from there. For example, I want to change the background and I just apply uh, avatar and it's now going to change the background for me. Um, there is the avatar mood as well. So right now I'm sort of not sad, not happy, but you know, I can be sad. So this is, have a look at my, um, you know, this face reaction. Uh, just kind of a sad, I mean, it's got a mustache, you can't really see it, but yeah. If this is a happy face, you might see it, the lips kind of, you know, there's a happy thing going on, but because of the mustache, we can't see it. Um, so, um, and also the avatar camera, right? This is select currently selected at left, but you can select it at standard, which is looking at straight in the camera or towards your right hand side. Um, that's the standard zoom. You can zoom in as well. You can zoom out, right? There are um, two options there. And um, this is just experimental setting. If you have any custom backgrounds, you can actually um, upload your custom backgrounds and you know use those custom backgrounds um, for avatars as well. Here you go, this is how you basically do it. Um, keep playing with these avatars, you know, you know, create your own profiles. So as I said, this is still in uh, public preview, so not every single user will be able to use it. But if your organization allows you to use, you know, the public preview features, um, give it a go ahead. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any comments or feedback, um, don't forget to leave those under the comment section. I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching.